welcome to watch the video of k means clustering actually k means is a type of unsupervised based machine learning algorithm the similar points has been grouped into k clusters okay so the main application of using this k means clustering is customer segmentation anomaly detection image classification etc so now take a sample data sets so here in this data sets totally there are five points it can be marked as a b c d and e okay so the two types of classifications are the annual income and the spending score okay so the first step is to initialize the centroids okay so before initializing the centroids we have to keep the k value so here we can take the k value as 2 then to initialize the centroids we should choose two random centroids so here i am choosing this 15 39 and 1877 so randomly i am choosing this two centroids it can be taken as c1 and c2 okay then in the second step i am going to compute the euclidean distance so the distance between two points formula is given by x1 y1 and x2 y2 are the two points is going to be given by that d equal to square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square so this is how the distance can be calculated so now we have to uh, draw a table so in the table the point has been mentioned first that a b c d and e so that a is 15 comma 39 b is 16 comma 81 c is 17 comma 6 and d is 18 comma 77 and e is 19 comma 40 likewise first we should split the points in this column so in the next column in the next two columns we should find out the distance to this cluster C1. Distance to C1. The C1 is nothing but 15, 39 that we have taken randomly here. And distance to the cluster that centroid C2, 18, 77. Okay. Now we should compare the distance between the two points. So first we should take this, this point and this point. Okay. So for A, 15, 39. And B we can take as 15 comma 39. While we are calculating, we are getting the value as 0. So keep it here. Then here distance between this point 15 comma 39 and that 18 comma 77. So it should be calculated using this same formula. So I am getting 38.1. Okay. So similarly for point B, it is 16 comma 81. We are calculating the distance between this point and this point, 15, 31. It can be obtained as 42, then this 16, 81 and this 18, 77. It can be find out as 0.47. So, similarly, we are finding the distance between the points. Okay. Now, in the last column, it is the cluster assignment column. So, how we are assigning the clusters? So, we should compare the distance and which distance is very less we should allot the cluster. So, here it is 0 and it is 38.1. So, it is having the minimum distance. So, it should be taken as C1. Okay. Then, here it is 42, it is 4.47. So, this is minimum distance. C2. Then, it is 33 and it is 71. So, this 33 is minimum distance. So, C1. This is 38.1 and this is 0. So, this one is the minimum distance. C2. Here it is the distance is 4.1, it is 37. So, this is the minimum distance. So, we are taking the C1. Now, we are going to assign the new clusters. Now, based on the cluster assignment, that C1. So, we are having this A, then the C, then E that belongs to cluster 1. Okay, because all these comes under the category C1. So, this is cluster 1. Based on the table, we are defining this. Then in cluster 2, we are having the point B and point D. Okay. So, here it is point B and here it is point D. So, this is the new cluster assignment C1 and C2. Now, in the step 3, we have to compute the new centroids based on this new cluster assignment. Okay. So, for C1, just we have to calculate the mu1 as the mean. First, we should take the 15, 17, 19. 15 plus 17 plus 19 divided by 3, comma, 39, 6, and 40. 39 plus 6 plus 40 divided by 3. 
Okay, so this is how we are computing the new centroids. So it is find as 51 by 3, comma 85 by 3. Okay, so this is that mu1 value 17, comma 28.3. Then similarly for C2, we are calculating 16 plus 18 divided by 2 plus then comma 81 plus 77 divided by 2. So it is find as 17, comma 79. So this is mu2. So these two are the new centroids that we are finding. Okay. So it is taken as new C1 and new C2. Okay. So this is step 3. Then we move to the step 4. So we have to repeat until the convergence will happen. Okay. So now again based on this C1 and C2 we have to compute the Euclidean distance again to find out and we should repeat this same step of distance between two points. Then reassign the cluster values then compute the new centroids. So we should continue this process until there will be no change in the value of centroids. Okay. So we stop the calculation at one point. Okay. So the final cluster has been assigned as cluster 1, cluster 2. So this is low spending and this is high spending. So that A, C and E that belongs to cluster 1 and that B, D that belongs to cluster 2. Two. Okay, so the final centroids can be represented as the C1 17 comma 28.3 and C2 17 comma 79. Okay, finally we can visualize the clusters, cluster one in one color and cluster two in another color. Okay, then we can represent the centroid in yellow color. So this is how the concept of k-means clustering working. Thank you for watching the video.